السلام عليكم هلا Welcome to the lesson number 38 of Learn Arabic Online In this lesson we shall learn يا النسبة The يا of relative Of course we shall learn new vocabularies but we shall not have any text or uh, dialogue for this lesson We shall have examples Let's go هيا نبدأ Vocabularies. Please memorize these vocabularies carefully. Repeat after me. Banat, daughters, aulad, sons, hadid, iron, khashab, wood, bashar, humans, hayawan, animal, ma. Water, هواء, air, فاطمة, feminine proper noun, مصر, Egypt, الجزائر, Algeria, الهند, India, بريطانيا, Britain, إنجلترا, England, فرنسا, France. روسيا رشا تركيا أو تركيا تركي ليبيا ليبيا لبنان لبنان العراق إراك السعودية سعودي أريبيا اليمن يمن السودان سودان سريلانكا سريلانكا الولايات المتحدة الأمريكية United States of America يا النسبة related the noun to other noun for example أنا من الجزائر I am from Algeria then, أنا جزائري I am Algerian As a singular masculine I related myself to my country Algeria I followed the following steps 1. I remove التعريف ال of definition from the beginning of the name of my country الجزائر I removed ال Now I have only جزائر Second, I changed the حركة of the last letter to كسرة The name was الجزائر I removed التعريف and make it جزائري 3. I added يا with شدة to the noun جزائري became جزائري This rule is good for all the masculine singular pronouns أنا جزائري I am Algerian أنت جزائري You are Algerian هو جزائري He is Algerian It is Algerian flag Now with the feminine singular هي من الجزائر هي جزائرية she is from Algeria she is Algerian to relate a feminine to Algeria I have to follow these steps first remove ال التعريف from the beginning of the noun second change the حركة of the last letter to كسرة third add يا النسبة with شدة at the end of the noun Fourth step, add تاء التأنيث after the ya of the nisbah. This will be good for all the feminine singular pronouns. أنا جزائرية. I am Algerian. أنت جزائرية. You are Algerian. هي جزائرية. She is Algerian. Algeria is a noun which is not ended with ألف مد قرطة مربوطة. How we manage? with these nouns which, which ended with ألف مد قرطة مربوطة let's go to see that here we are Pierre من فرنسا هو فرنسي Pierre from France he is French فرنسا in Arabic ended with ألف مد فرنسا we have to do the following steps first we remove the ألف مد from the noun two we put كسرة at the end of the noun then 
وقال يا النسبة والشدة at the end we will have فرنسية this will be good also for all the masculine singular pronouns أنا فرنسي أنت فرنسي هو فرنسي I am French you are French she or it is French now with the feminine Suzanne from France she is French of course فرنسا a noun which ended with ألف مد we have to remove the ألف مد from the end of فرنسا then we have to put كسرة under the last letter of فرنسا which is سا it will be فرنسي then we shall add يا النسبة with شدة فرنسي fourth step we shall add تاء التأنيث فرنسية this rule will be good for all the, ma- the feminine singular pronouns أنا فرنسية I am French أنت فرنسية you are French هي فرنسية she is French or it is French now we shall learn how to relate nouns which ended with تاء مربوطة we have to follow the same steps with the alif mat. First, we remove the ta marbuta. Second step, we put kasra at the last letter of the noun. Third step, we add the ya in nisbah. These steps are good for all the masculine singular pronouns. Ana makki, anta makki, huwa makki. For the feminine, we have all the three steps. Like the masculine, and at last we will add ta marbuta. Then we will have hiya makkiya, and this will be good for all the feminine singular pronouns. Ana makkiya, anti makkiya, hiya makkiya. Sausano min Masr, hiya Masriya, hiya. The main noun which we want to relate sousa to it is Misr. Misr has no alif mad, no ta marbuta. Then we enter the ya in nisba directly after it. Hiya Misriya. John min Baritania. Hua Baritani. John from Britain. He is British. Britannia is ended with alif mad. We have to remove this alif mad and put ya in nisba instead of it. Wafa min banati Fatima. Wafa is one of the descendants of Fatima. We remove ta at ta'neeth from Fatima. We put ya in nisba. Then we followed it. We followed ya in nisba with ta at ta'neeth again. Then wafa is Fatimiya. John min Engeltra. Huwa Englishi. I give this example to show you that some relations don't follow the always the same rule. John from Engeltra, who are Englishy, is not Angleterry. You have to be aware of this. That's all for this lesson. We shall meet in the other lesson with the Ya and Nisba to plural. Ila liqa.